Hello folks, Phil Gallagher of Thrive and you here for another Lake Le blah, blah, blah. You know what? We're keeping it going. I'm not I'm not stopping for another legacy video. Today's video is sponsored by Sean D, and honestly, I'm just going to read their donation prompt. I wanted to try to make a deck around a random, generally unplayable card from MH2. People have already started playing around with the good ones, and I ended up choosing Captain Ripley Vance. So the link above is my best attempt at a Captain Ripley Vance deck. I don't know why someone would want to play a Ripley Vance deck, but it was fun to try to make one. So here's $30 to run it through a league and try to get some wins. She has shoulder cannons. That she does, Sean. That she does. So let's start by taking a look at the namesake card, Captain Ripley Vance. It's a 3-2 for 3 mana, legendary human pirate. Whenever you cast your third spell each turn, put a plus one plus one pet counter on this card, and then it deals damage equal to its power to any target. So the dream here is that we do something like Captain Ripley Vance, and then the next turn we go like invigorate it, berserk it, play some other spell, and then like between the attack and this trigger, we should just kill our opponent in one shot. That's the dream. Now, um, in addition to the dreams, there are also plenty of memes here. So we have Krark the Thumbless. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, return that spell to its owner's hand. If you win the flip, you copy it, and you can choose new targets for the copy. So that can help us increase our spell count for the captain and can do very cute things with free spells uh, like Invigorate and Land Grant as well. We also have Kavu Predator, um, which you've seen in decks like False Cure before potentially. Whenever an opponent gains life, put that many plus one plus one counters on this thing. And then we have Aria Flame, which gives our opponent 10 life. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that does seem kind of cool. Holding this together, we have a handful of respectable magic cards like Brainstorm Ponder, Lightning Bolt, Snapcaster, Uro. Um, uh, if there's a spectrum where the good decks are over here and the really questionable things are over here, we're not all the way over here since like there is a respectable core of this deck, but like we're we're pretty far trending in the meme direction for this deck list. As far as the sideboard goes, um, I did change two cards. Uh, card Hoarder was out of stock on Meltdown, and if I'm honest, I also just wanted to play more copies of Endurance. Um, so the original deck list had three copies of Meltdown. Uh, I'm playing two additional copies of Endurance instead. The initial wave of like, oh my god, Affinity is absolutely everywhere has died down a little bit, and so I think it's okay to not just go overboard on hate. Um, we have a couple of things that are a little fringer in terms of legacy play, so I'm just going to make sure you know what they are real quick. We have Alpine Moon. Um, when it ETBs, choose a non-basic land card and lands your opponent's control with the chosen name, lose all land types and abilities, and they just become a land that taps for any color. So we can use that on something like an Urza Saga, for example, to stop my opponent from making constructs. And then we also have Cindervines, uh, which is sort of twofold storm hate as well as artifact and enchantment destruction. That does a little bit of damage as well. All right. Um, well, all right, YouTube. I don't, I don't know how this one is going to go, but like we are going to meme and we are going to go for glory. And, you know, we're going to aim for the two, three. And if we get anything beyond that, that's it. That's a smash success. All right, I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, please throw me a like before we get started. It's the easiest free way to support my content. Let's battle. Okay, for round one, we are playing against Charble. I believe they play Affinity. I'm going to quickly reread Simic Charm. It's been a little while since I drafted with this card. Okay, and let's mulligan. We don't have mana. Um, what does this hand do? Does this hand do nothing? Volcanic Island, Land Grant. Avu Predator. Um, this hand maybe does nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna ship this one. I, I think this is a a deck where we kind of shoot for the moon a little bit. Um, at this point, I will keep this on five. Let's assume I don't get to Force of Will and throw back one of my two expensive cards. Let's throw back the Euro. Let's let's keep the meme. I'm gonna lose like. We gotta lose in style. Alright, just to ponder. Alright. 
I will respond by doing just a ponder of my own. So here we go. I kind of just want to hit a third land drop here. Um, I don't want two of these cards, though, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. A little greedy on my end. Rark into Ripley, and then the following turn, I get to go Invigorate Berserk and kill. I, I want I want this dream. I want this dream to happen so badly. I am now emotionally attached to this game. We have gotten the very nice from the opponent in chat. <laughs> they can have a smiley face. Okay, end step brainstorm from the opponent. I expect that we'll now immediately see a fetch. Yep. And a forest. All right, Delta. Actually, can I just go for a Krark kill next turn? I invigorate until invigorate resolves, and then I cast Berserk. And hmm, that's actually kind of okay. Yeah, good good luck with that cabal therapy. Yeah, I, I have theoretical lethal next turn if berserk resolves. Oh wait, that would give my opponent six life. So put them to twenty three. No, I'd only have twenty damage next turn. I don't have lethal next turn. Opponent named lightning bolt. Snapcaster is cool. Oh wait, hold on. The captain. Captain is my first spell this turn. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> this is, no, copying is not casting. Right? Yeah, so we'll we'll just wait till next turn and then go for lethal. I can cast like Invigorate, Berserk, Snapcaster next turn. Although the arc returning it would increase. <clears throat> All right. Okay. My opponent is just passing. This is probably good for me. So all my stuff, their instance. I guess I can just go ahead and crash in and see what happens. Yeah, let's do it. Attack. OK, my opponent has not blocked. I'm going to cast this by having an opponent gain three life. And then the Kark trigger happens. I'll choose Tails. Fails never fails. So I copy it, and I'll go same targets. So I'll let those resolve. And then I will attempt to berserk. <laughs> I choose Tails. Tails, I won the flip. I get to copy it. Uh, I will select the same targets. Oh my god. 22. 44. I will now cast... A brainstorm. Actually, I guess I guess just let damage go through here. <laughs> this is excellent. Oh man. Okay. Um, what do I want versus Aluren? Um, uh, I could Cinder Vines. Submerge is interesting. Actually, let's submerge. Maybe submerge Cinder Vines. I want carpet. They have a lot of basics that aren't islands. Um, endurance? Endurance is not great versus the random death touchers, though. Uh, let's go. This, this deck is perfect. How do I sideboard? Uh, let's go Simic Charm out. <laughs> Opponent is saying, I have no idea what's good for this. Me either. First game with it. Um, okay, let's let's assume Uro is kind of slow for this matchup. Uh, yeah, let's let's assume some of this like Uro Snapcaster stuff is just kind of slow, and cut that and uh, keep the other stuff. This opening hand is like do nothing or do everything. I'm gonna mulligan it. Um, this hand is a better version of the last hand. I'm gonna keep it and pitch. The invigorate. I get a turn one abundant harvest, which lets me look for some non land card. Oh, I didn't want that. All right, so let's abundant harvest. Non land. Uh, Brainstorm's fine. I'm not going to play it immediately, though. Like, I want a Sylvan Library. I want to find Kavu Predator. 
That's that's the big get here. <laughs> yeah, good luck with your Cabal Therapy. Oh, okay, well, Brainstorm is a good name. That's fair. <laughs> Opponent has figured out what's going on. They have just asked, oh, does it play the Planar Chaos Kabu? Damn right it does, Charble. Damn right it does. All right, Sylvan Library time. Okay, so my opponent does have white. That means Recruiter of the Guard is in this deck. Ooh, another Cabal Therapy. This would be terrifying if not for my Sylvan Library that's currently in play. Goodbye, Aria of Flame. All right. Kabu. Kabu, you're just a touch too late. I mean, I'm still happy to see you. Uh, keep both? Keep all three? Hmm. I'm gonna put back the Cinder Vines. Like, I know it's a card I've theoretically boarded in for this matchup, but I see myself tapping out the next couple of turns in order to try to win. I'm gonna put that back, and I'm gonna keep this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fetch and play out the Captain. I guess we'll get Valk for variety's sake. And then next turn, we'll try to cast three spells and murder our opponent. Don't do it, Charble. That's a Lurin. That's Recruiter. Um, this should mean I am dead. Go ahead and put a Kabu Predator into play. I'll lose my Lightning Bolt here, and then my opponent should be able to combo kill me. So it'll be Recruiter for Recruiter a couple of times. Okay, uh, it's starting with an Arctic Merfolk, uh, which Kicker returns the Recruiter of the Guard. And this gets Cavern Harpy. And this should pretty much obliterate me. We'll, uh, we'll let my opponent showcase their deck for a minute, though. And then, um, once my opponent shows me what their win condition of choice is, I'll go ahead and concede. Okay, that's Parasitic Strix. Uh, we can go ahead and concede to that. That is, uh, that is just going to be the win. Notably, though, I could have made a very large Kabu Predator by staying in that game. Um, let's stay boarded the same way. Like, the Cinder Vines is something I can use to fight Alurin, and, and I, I didn't this game, because I felt like my path to victory involved tapping out for a 3-drop. Um, there's other ways I can choose to interact, like I can, I can play Pyroblast as well to uh, address some of the Cavern Harpy Parasitic Strix sorts of cards, but I'm not sure that I actually get to reasonably do that. All right, um, Cindervines, Kark, Ponder. I probably keep this hand. This hand, this hand probably does something. Doesn't really do anything yet, but you know, with Ponder, anything is possible. Uh, Ripley, Kark plus Ripley is is hot. I don't super want two of these cards. I guess Force of Will is not the end of the world. All right, I will keep it. Although I guess I should have taken the Force and left this on top of Library. In case my opponent Blind Cabal Therapies it, but they Blind Cabal Therapied Ponder last time, or not Ponder, Brainstorm last time, which makes sense to me as a play. No Shuffle on that Ponder. So I think, I think Krark is the more interesting play that ends up doing something broken a higher portion of the time. Alright, just a land, do a Brainstorm. And now I'm guessing we see the fetch. Okay, Bayou. And Cabal Therapy. Sure. Alright, Invigorate that time. Wing and a miss. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fetch. Actually, did I mess up by not playing a fetch last turn? And then I drew this tiger that I didn't want to draw that I that I was only going to take two of these cards? Yeah. I think I did. Uh, Valk? I think Valk. It's real close. It doesn't matter too much with what I have in hand. I have kind of like color redundancy. All right, I'll crash in for two, put my opponent to 17. And then hopefully we uh, we just draw some cantrips. All right. Ponder from the opponent. All right, here's the fetch. All right. What do you got for me? Couple tricks is a bit of a nuisance. There's a world where I just cinder vines it so that I can like crash in for damage. It's even assuming no nonsense. Like, five, five damage a turn clock is respectable. Now this is legendary, so we can't double down on this. Alright, Scalding Tarn. Red, green, Cinder Vines, and I think I am going to do this. 
All right. Hit for five. And that brings my opponent to nine. I'm just kind of hoping they don't have the Alluren. Because I think my hand doesn't really do anything right now. So, the, like, the way I am winning is by turning these creatures sideways twice and having it work. All right. Do, do your thing. Okay. Um, Recruiter of the Guard should mean that I am just dead. All right. That's a Cabal Therapy. I'm naming Lightning Bolt. That's reasonable. All right, new recruiter, the guard will grab Arctic Merfolk, and then they should just do their thing. But I will just confirm that they can do it before conceding. Recruiter grabs Cavern Harpy, Arctic Merfolk resolves, Cavern Harpy comes into play, bounces that, and this bounces Recruiter. I, I think this is the end. I think this is where my opponent grabs Strix. Yep. Okay, I will go ahead and concede here. Um, so I, I think I forgot to fetch, and then I drew this Taiga. If this was a blue card, I am in better shape. My opponent still has, like, chump blockers and such. Um, just taking a look at the next couple of draws. I don't know that we're really getting there. But who cares? Like, I made 44 power. <laughs> That's worth it. Okay, um, this one doesn't really do anything. Let's mulligan. This one probably does something. I'm going to keep this and fetch the Lightning Bolt. Uh, Kavu Predator can do some gross stuff if left unchecked here. Uh, okay, we are playing against Cloud Post. Um, in which case, I'm unlikely to just get Wastelanded. It can happen. Um, now that I have the second land, I think things are okay. Uh, let's fetch and ponder. Uh, I think I want green here. Grab Trop. And we're probably just looking for a third land. Uh, none of this is a third land. That is also not a third land, but it's fine. Hey, if my opponent makes some glimmer posts, I can uh, gain life with my Kavu Predator. Wouldn't that be dope? Hmm. All right. Another Kavu Predator. Peace. Kavu Predator. No one expects the Kavu Predator. Although I don't know why, it doesn't necessarily look sneaky. How big are these trees? A Pithing Needle resolves. Like Scalding Tarn? Blooded Woodlands? <laughs> you fool! You have activated my trap card! <laughs> oh. Oh man. Actually, is, is Krark? Krark is probably better. Well, there is the Krakus to think about. Yeah, okay. I, I guess I'll just Kabu Predator again. If not for the Krakus, I would be going for absolute memes this turn. It's invigorate time. You can gain some life. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we have my... Oh, that's awfully rude. Draw land for Aria Flame. No. Okay. Well, I can still brainstorm. Actually, do I even want to brainstorm? Because that drops Force of Will. I maybe don't want to do that. But, like, the Aria Flame is so good next turn. I'm pretty likely to find something worth doing here. Or just a blue card to replace, even. Okay, so let's put back my two legendary cards, Rark and Uro. Now I can go ahead and crash in. I'm only going to successfully get in for five points of damage here. That's fine. Actually, I maybe should have kept Uro to pitch the Force of Will. That was a mistake. Um, grab a land... So I make my land drop here. I guess I'm just going to take another one out of my deck. So I don't have to draw it. Um, but yeah, I should have held a... I should have held the Uro. Doesn't matter. Had Kavu. Um, Alpine Moon seems respectable. Probably it. There is maybe an argument for getting rid of some of my slower stuff. Just because I want to goldfish my opponent. I want to keep Simic Charm for its ability to bounce large things. Maybe I do. 
Um, hmm. I see Snapcaster and Uro being a touch slow. I think I am just going to trim one of each of those and call it good. I don't know that I actually get to trim my legendary creatures. Crocus is also just like a one of. Um, I don't think his hand does anything. It like uh, brainstorm fixes his hand a huge portion of the time, but I really want to keep a hand with like a Kavu that can just goldfish my opponent as quickly as possible. I would keep this on six. I'm I'm not going to keep it on seven. Yeah, this this is a better hand. All right. So the Brainstorm actually, oddly, is probably the weak link in this hand, uh, which is exceedingly rare. All right. Bird and Catacombs from the opponent. The Forest. Into Reclaimer. Sure. The Captain. I think I want to fetch in case my opponent still has Pithing Needles for my fetch lands. I don't think they will. But I really do not want to be wrong. So this is going to grab Taiga. And then we're going to shut off Cloud Post's abilities. There's a Glimmer Post. Play it now before Kabu Predator comes down. Okay, then the needles are still in here. I feel justified for uh, fetching on turn one. Yep. Very justified. I'll go down to 18 here. Daggers. Kavu Predator. So my hope, in my heart of hearts, is that my opponent plays a Yavamaya, and then it turns my Misty Rainforest that's in hand into a Greenland. All right, Forest. Into a Rex Sage. Sure. Goodbye to the Alpine Moon. Ooh. <laughs> Another one. So I'll just play that out. And crash in with uh, the first Kabu Predator. I mean, you think I was... I was bluffing here with my uh, attack in with the thing that's central to my deck? I trample too, so like, that is, that is not stopping me. That puts opponent to 15. I have 14 power in play. Now, my opponent does have access to something like a Maze of Ith, but it would enter tapped. Okay, there's a Cloud Post. And then Invigorate. Um, I'm not going to do the math, but I'm guessing that kills my opponent. Get him. All right, so you get some life. I think this forces my opponent to fetch up something like a Glacial Chasm, which I'm guessing was their plan anyway. All right. What do you have for me? Uh, just a cloud post? I don't think just a cloud post gets there. Yeah, I have 20 incoming damage here. Uh, which is exactly lethal. I am unstoppable. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not really objectively a good hand, but it has like a force of will for something unfair, and it has a Sylvan library for something fair. Okay. Um, if this is the Madness deck, I am supposed to Force of Will this card. Um, accordingly, I am going to Force of Will this card. I succeeded. Alright, Misty Pass, and then we'll play Sylvan Library and try to find something degenerate to do. Um, when playing against uh, the Madness deck, you want to play your best lands out first, in case uh, Burning Inquiry kind of fucks you up. Also, do I have Graveyard Hate in this deck? Oh, I have Endurance. Okay, so this is a 3-1 Madness for my purposes. All right. Um, Aria of Flame is not bad. That's half of a combo. If uh, I can find a Kavu, that would be grand. I think I'm going to go for the Sylvan Library. There's worlds where I play Krark this turn first. Um, because, like, casting things with Aria of Flame is uh, very real. Okay, my opponent's just going to play a bunch of 3-1s. You don't have any evasion, right? I can just block you. Yeah, I can just block you. That's fine. I'll go to 14. I probably don't get to go ham off Sylvan Library. The Captain. Outcaster and Scalding Tarn. Um, 
The Snapcaster goes back. The captain is not currently doing anything. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the land and fetch that stuff away. Um, get another Valk, since I have a forest in hand. And honestly, I just want to trade bodies with the onboard cards. I don't think I'm a particularly good control deck. Um, so I need to not die and then hope to assemble a combo that uh, can one shot or close to it on my opponent. Okay, that's it. Uro. Uro is pretty darn intriguing right now. I think that's the card I'm taking. Just play conservatively with my life total here. So let's go Forest, Uro. Uro draws me Abundant Harvest. And Uro goes to the graveyard. And I think I just go ahead and cash this in and go land. Just so I can get that Berserk off the top of my library because I don't want it. And then we hope that Uro can stabilize this game. It stabilizes it versus this, but the Madness deck can go absolutely buck wild. Um, once it has a discard outlet. This is, uh, this is potentially scary. Like, I could literally die this turn to a handful of Vengevines. Uh, there is a Vengevine discarded. There is a Vengevine discarded. There is a Basking Root Wallet discarded, which will be the second creature this turn, trigger the Vengevines, and I will take 11 damage. All right, there they are. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. All right, I go to two. There's really five. I think it's not enough life. I think I need a lightning bolt. That might not even be enough. I go to five. I block this. Okay, well, that's the plan. These are fine cards, but not really, I think, enough. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So I gain my life, and I'll pass the turn. Um, but I, I, even with my bonus interaction, I think I'm just dead on board. Like, the way I'm not dead is my opponent being scared. All right, land. Like, answering these two, this is still five damage. Future Imp and Burning Inquiry discarded. All right, Taiga fetched up. Ending the troops. Three, four, five. Uh, not even counting the pumping there. Uh, I am dead. I will concede. We even stopped the initial onslaught off of LED and it just wasn't enough. Okay. Um, I will play Endurances and Submerges. I think Simic Charm is too slow as a removal spell. I believe the same is true of Brazen Borrower. I don't feel like I have time for Sylvan Library to do its thing. Rark. Maybe a little janky. And I also don't know... Actually, maybe I can board all of those out. I don't know that I can afford for my spells to not resolve the first time in this matchup when they are things like Lightning Bolt and Submerge. Um, let's board those out. And I guess I will keep the Brazen Borrower. Um, note, though, um, Endurance is not like the be-all, end-all versus this deck. Uh, this isn't... Not a hand that just like plans on winning the game. This one isn't quite either, but at least it has Endurance to potentially stop the worst possible Onslaught. I think I'll keep this hand. This hand can go places. I think I have to keep this and pitch either one of my two green cards or the Captain. I think I'm going to pitch the Captain and hope that I can get there um, with a, a very large Kavu Predator. All right. So do I... I guess I brainstorm in response to that. Because I really want to play Kavu Predator on turn two anyway. I think getting Volk. It's a little weird though, because I want green green to hard cast and endurance potentially. Okay, well I have Kavu Predator Invigorate at the ready. I guess I'm going to redraw all of this eventually. Okay. LED resolves. How bad is it? Faithless looting. Okay, if, if that's it, that's not so bad. At least for now. Go, go, gadget, Kavu Predator. 
And honestly, I think I do this. This just keeps my opponent from flashing back the Faithless looting. If their hand is weak, then this is a very strong play. The hope is that I don't have to use the second Endurance in this turn cycle, because I really, really, really need this Invigorate. And then I just get to go Forest that's on top of my library, Invigorate, crash in for a good chunk of damage, and then hold up Hardcast Endurance. It's possible I could have been greedier with the Endurance than I was. Holy madness, Batman. Yep, all right. So there's a Kitchen Imp and an Anji's Ravager. And not a Kitchen Imp and a second Anji's Ravager. So I'm going to take two to that this turn. Okay, so now I can kill both Anji's Ravagers on my turn. I can block one with Endurance, Invigorate Kabu, Predator, block the second one there. I can also take out the Kitchen Imp instead if I want. Um, I think that means I'm not crashing in this turn. We will wait. We will be a patient Predator. Lion's Eye a Diamond. Wrong. We're going to see two Anji's Ravager triggers here. First one essentially is a draw three. And the second one will discard those cards. Double Vengevine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Now, I will cast Endurance. And this nukes those Vengevines. Very good here. Chunk that. Now, some weird stuff could technically happen with my opponent. Um, cracking LED. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Finishing the thought. But I think I do need to... Uh, take these Anji's Ravagers off the board, or those are going to eat me alive later anyway. Yeah. And just so I can do this right now. Also just do this here. You gain life. My Kavu gets bigger. The Kavu becomes a 5-5. Five five. Endurance nukes the graveyard. I move to blocks. And I get to take out two creatures. Um... Overall, leaving us in kind of a similar position. Ooh, the Asylum Visitor is going to draw me a card. Wait, hold on. Both of us a card? At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, you draw a card and you lose one life. Okay. Um, I am probably in a defensive role. Oh, shit. I was supposed to hold that because of Asylum Visitor. All right, Future Dimp. Oh, it's got a regular old engine going. Um, yeah, I mean, endurance has reach. I'll happily do that. All right, so here's the one free card that I gave my opponent. I honestly probably need to put this in play, but I don't have to do it immediately. But it's very good for me to do it immediately in some situations. I think I'm going to go ahead and hold it. All right, opponent is fetching. All right. No, oh, no end of turn, Future Dimp shenanigans. If the opponent didn't like their card, they could discard it with Future Dimp and then, uh, like, just get a new card in their upkeep with Asylum Visitor, uh, which is a super interesting interaction. Bone Shards. Initial cost to cast, sack a creature or discard a card, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Okay, uh, that's pretty strong. Um, that also means that my opponent's uh, Venge Vines can now attack in... Uh, pretty safely. Honestly, that probably means that their whole team can crash in. Um, I'm going to take this hit. The Endurance potentially saves me a lot of damage, uh, but I, I think I'm just done though. My, my opponent has gone wide of me. I block two, and there's three, four, six. Seven. Yeah, okay. I am, I am dead on board here. GG's. All right, um, well, again... Um, okay, so, like, this is a totally reasonable hand, but I'm not sure if I win, unless I win fast. I'm going to mulligan this one and go to five, and just try to find something that combos. Okay. Land Grant goes back, and I think I'm going to throw back the Lightning Bolt. Keep the, uh, the dream alive. Forest Pass. Oh no. We're we gonna play against a good deck this round. 
Yeah, we're going to play against a good deck this round. I, I think we get just absolutely fucking bodied by something with this much interaction. Plus my opponent can cast all my sweet cards. Super punished for putting the lightning bolt back. But, like, I think I have to keep an avenue towards victory. And I don't think naked Uro is an avenue towards victory. Invigorate. I would have had an avenue towards victory. That would have been it. I have some submerges in the sideboard that can get cute. Oh man, this Kahu Predator would have gone all the fucking way with double invigorate. Holy shit. Um, I probably fetched this turn. Uh, I'll grab Trop. Actually, that might have been wrong, because I already have a Trop in hand, so I have, like, green, 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 whereas I only have single red. Yeah, that was wrong. That should have been a Valk. Got triple invigorate. The little Kavu that could. So, so close to just memeing this game away. All right. Nice island. I like that. A wasteland. We'll see if I get punished for my bad fetch by drawing a red card. A, a deck of the meme tier that I am playing, uh, I think it does not get to, uh, yeah, play the Krark. Play the Krark. Live a little. Do it, you coward. Fun. You'll enjoy it. Anything could happen. Yeah! Crack that value. Alright, they are attempting the double ponder. They want the flip. So they get to copy the ponder and do it twice. Okay, honestly, I'm just happy for my opponent here. Okay, there's there's the punish for me fetching wrong the previous turn. Um, I think I can uh, I can go ahead and throw in the owl to Delver with six cards in hands and uh, two threats in play. Um, what do I even have for Delver? Endurances and submerges and carpet. That's actually a pretty good package. Um, don't like this. I think I don't get to mess around with these here. Like I gotta make room for these cards somehow. The one of Abundant Harvest feels weird and a touch slow. Technically use Berserk as a removal spell on a on an opposing Ragavan. And honestly, I don't think I get to Sylvan Library just in terms of my life total. It could also Pyroblast and try to morph into this like very awkward control deck that has Kabu Predators. Do that, I could like go down one land grant and like one captain. Sure. Oh, Predator, I need lands. I need lands, but like, thank you for pairing with the Invigorates. I. Uh. Keep? I keep. And junk one of these two Invigorates. I'll get my green on turn two. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it on turn one. The only way I could have it on turn one is by Volcanic Island, like, putting Volcanic Island back in the mulligan and then, like, land granting and showing my opponent I don't have any, uh, lands, and then, like, confirming that they should force a will my land grant. I'm willing to make some loose plays for entertainment, but that, that's a bit much. My hand's very bad. I need to take out the first threat here. Okay. So... Here we go. All right. I now, at least in theory, have access to mana. Okay. Uh, we got a Merktide Regent out of the deal, which is not bad. Uh, I'm going to do something that looks a little weird here. I'm just going to cast this land grant right now. And the reason why I'm doing that is I only want to reveal one card to my opponent. I don't want to like do that next turn and then potentially reveal two cards to them. So if my opponent has another creature here... Um, I'm in trouble. That's a dashed Ragavan. I'll take two here. Abu Predator. I am very sad that they took that card off the top of my library, because that's, like, one of my literal best draws. Try not to get Brainstorm locked. Okay, I did not get Brainstorm locked. I will put back a land and an Invigorate, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to keep the Invigorate to protect this from a Lightning Bolt. I'm, like, not even getting that into play this turn. I'm going to hard cast this. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep this and try to trigger this. I don't know. The... Like, I have to respect getting Wastelanded, which makes me want to keep Land Grant. 
but I, like I also have to respect Lightning Bolt on my creatures. W weird spot. I don't know that I played that well. Monkey is just going to continuously dash. Which honestly, like, kind of costs one mana because my opponent gets a treasure back. Um, is like kind of weird in terms of gameplay. All right, opponent ponders. All right, and Ragavan gets bounced back to hand. All right, I guess I am just playing this. I can play it around days by land granting first. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Like. I don't know. I, I'm just having a hard time seeing a path to victory with the cards that I currently have access to. Like, Blue Red Delver is the best deck in the format, and I am playing a lot of jank here. Like, if my opponent actually just sticks, like, a Delver or a Dragon Rage Channeler in addition to this Ragavan, uh, like, it, it's bad. I think they found a... Oh, no. True Name? I have not seen a True Name in a long time. And they actually just straight up cast Ragavan this time. Okay, well, Aria of a Flame is a way that I could potentially win. I think no respect for days. I think, like, I have to just no respect for days here and then play Land Grant afterwards and start working on the count of Aria of Flame. I'll cast this by revealing my hand. You all save targets and always yield to it. My land grant resolves. I've got double of everything. Um, as long as the land is blue, it doesn't really matter what I get. I, I am about to get smacked uh, pretty hard. So, it's a taiga. So, notably, Ragavan is cast that card, not play that card. All right. Uh, land, not uh, super what I'm looking for. I'll pass the turn. In combat, I'll uh, ride a Petty Theft to Ragavan. Save a couple points of damage. Pick up the Aria Flame counter. Alright, so... Tempt Petty Theft on Ragavan. That triggers Aria of Flame. Down to 25. Looks like I'm getting countered. I'm getting Pyroblasted. That is reasonable. I go down to 4. And price of progress, Jeebus. All right, well, we weren't expecting to win that one from the time we got paired. Okay, I think I have a reasonable hand here. I will go ahead and keep this. Um, so let's go to Land Ponder, Figurate, Aria Flames, Snapcaster. No, I think I want more land here. Like, I have one from Land Grant, but I want another. Yeah, that's that's fine. All right, Misty. Please don't fetch Volcanic Island and be Delver again. Whew. Okay. Uh, so that is probably indicative of something like a Hogak deck. Double Venge. Fine. <laughs> ho, 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 no. Uh, we have four Endurances for the post sideboard games to help out with that. Okay. How am I going to win this game? I think my plan involves the captain. I think it's going to be captain and, like, triple spell. Throw it, try to get lethal that way. I think I am going to take lethal over two to three turns. Let's ponder accordingly. A Kavu Predator. Kavu Predator Aria of Flame is a plan as well. Yes, that's, that's fine with me. I'll not shuffle my library. I'll take that. I will intend on fetching those cards away. Edron Crab. Yes. And then Delta will mill them. Third Venge Fine. Oh, no. All right. What's the second one bring? A uh, Bridge from Below. Two Bridge from Belows. Stitcher Supplier returns triple Venge Vine. Uh, I might not get to do my cool thing. So the Stitcher Supplier now resolves and mills three. It's a fucking Hogak. Sweet Jesus. Uh, I can go ahead and concede here. I, I get hit for 12 this turn and then lethal the following turn. Good god. That was gross. Or Endurance. Get the fuck in my deck. Okay. Uh, starting point. Next, I probably want Submerges as well. Um... Carpet of Flowers is playable. We'll kind of see where things are at. 
is my win condition. Honestly, my win condition is probably Kabu Predator and only Kabu Predator. Um, accordingly, let's get these out. I think my life total is under too much pressure for this. I'm not sure about the last card here. I kind of like the Simic Charm to just like bounce a Hogak that gets into play. Because my Kabu Predator can be bigger than most of those other things, and bouncing a blocker and letting Kabu Predator trample over is kind of cute. Uh, maybe I go down one Captain. I don't know. The, ca the Captain can win games on its own. Maybe I go down one Uro, just like assuming that is too slow for this matchup. Uh, so I think I have two effective win conditions. Either just blow my opponent out with an Endurance or Kabu Predator. Well, as a Kabu Predator and an Endurance... But this hand brainstorm locks itself such a huge portion of the time and then just dies. I think I'm going to pitch this. Um, this hand has Endurance and an Aria of Flame. I feel like this one doesn't get there either. All right, Kyle Predator. Okay. Um, the obligatory keeps are Land Land, Kyle Predator, Ponder. And then I get to keep one other card here. Not Force of Will. And then it's like, do I want a Lightning Bolt or turn one Hedron Crab? Or do I want to brainstorm to dig deeper? I think I want to be able to answer turn one Hedron Crab. But maybe that's not true, because I kind of want to ponder this turn. Eh. I can, I can slow down on playing the Kavu Predator if my opponent plays Hedron Ca Crab specifically. Okay, Invigorate is sick. Uh, I am totally happy with that. I'm going to keep the Invigorate on top of the library. Uh, just in case I run into some discard. Alright, Wooded Foothills, fetch. Badlands, okay, that's not casting Crab. That's casting Faithless Looting. Alright, that, that, that's just a Bloodgast, that's totally fine. Alright, Operation Kabu Predator is a go. Alright, opponent goes for a second Faithless Looting. Starting Gravecrawler Revenge Fine. Returns Bloodgast. And now they can fetch. See what their follow-up is. They get a Vengevine if they have another creature. Oh wait, no, this just entered play. Um, so that's actually fine. I believe I will just be lightning bolting this crab. I guess I can attack it and see if they block first. Yeah. Get him, little Kabu Predator. They did not block. I'll cast by having you gain some life. And then that makes the Kavu Predator swole. So you take 9 and go to 12. And I Lightning Bolt the Crab. I just think I have I like cannot take a risk on waiting there. Or sorry, I can't take a whisk, risk on brainstorming there, because like brainstorming and missing a red land is absolutely catastrophic. Citrus Supplier. It's bridge from below, so now my opponent can Gravecrawler, and that returns Vengevine. I'll take six this turn, um, as things stand now. It could be more. Okay, that was that was just filtering bad cards. Gravecrawler returns Vengevine. All right. Ooh, I am only taking two. All right. So my opponent could block defensively and do gross things. There's also Bridge from Below. I can just clear Bridge from Below with Uro this turn. How do I feel about that? I don't hate it. Yeah, I don't hate that. Alright, so let's go one, two, three. Uro. Land Grant. I will not put a land onto the battlefield. There goes Bridge from Below. Now I will land Grant. Um, so I have green, green, blue have to get another blue sword or no i could do blue blue yeah tight no if i want to brainstorm this turn which i kind of do i have to get drop brainstorming this turn oh shit i played a land okay that's fine turn four i, I missed a land drop somewhere in there hmm. okay yeah i don't think i want to attack this turn i'm gonna hold back and then go for broke in the not too distant future. Although I might just end up Uroing first. I have four cards in graveyard other than the Uro itself. Ooh, Abrupt Decay on the Kabu Predator is uh 
obviously quite bad. That is a lot of damage. Uh, actually, that is the fifth card in Graveyard to let me bring back Uro, though. Um, so not everything is a total disaster. Green, green, blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five. I would like my giant. And Uro gets me Kavu Predator. Now, Kavu Predator plus Aria of Flame is disgusting. My opponent's got something. All right, they're, they're flashing back Faithless Looting. Okay. Those are nothings. Ooh. They have passed the turn. So, I think I Kavu Predator, and then next turn, I, I go for a lethal attack in with two Kavu Predators that are huge. I, I think I just want to hold the ground here. Oh no, Altar of Dementia is incredibly scary here. Um, I am likely dead. So there's Hogak plus one bridge from below. Um, I'm not proficient enough in this deck to know like when I am deterministically dead to the altar. I think it requires two bridges. All right, the sacking continues. I am not going to concede unless my opponent kills me, though, because like this Kavu Predator Aria of Flame thing is really sick. Okay, so they Hogak, and that mills them the eight cards, which is enough to re-Hogak. And they're getting Hogak plus one zombie token in each cycle. Um, I don't know if they have enough cards to just mill me out. 46. Um, that might be plenty. So three Venge Vines. 8, 16, 20, 22, 23, 24, 30, 31, 32. Okay, so they're still going after themselves. Okay. Hasn't started going after me. Now they have a second bridge. They only have eight cards left in their deck. Um, does this murder me now? Yes. Okay, so it goes after me. So they have four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, this is a pain to just do. I guess just like returning the Hogax does it, right? So Hogak mills me eight. All right, I'm trying to continue talking so that my um, software picks up what is happening in the match, but it's hard for me to talk and do this math. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twenty-four cards on its own. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this this is enough to just deterministically kill me. Uh, unfortunate. We had just two, two twelve twelves plus Uro crashing in the next turn. Okay. Uh, overall thoughts on the deck list. I mean, we did the thing a couple of times. It was fun. Uh, deck is is obviously pretty janky. Um, the the captain was super cool when it worked. The Kavu Predator was super cool when it worked. Um, I'm not sure about, like, this portion of the equation. Like, this is something that could be super cool with the Aria of Flame. But I feel like you're supposed to treat this like an, a, an aggressive, like, A plus B combo deck. Where, like, you are trying to assemble, like, Kavu Predator plus Invigorate. Or Kavu Predator plus Aria of Flame. Or, like, Ripley with something else. That, or, like, with all the generic free spells. So I think if you want to play this, you treat this... Um, a little bit more like a Splinter Twin deck, where you're just trying to get as redundant as possible with the primary combo. So I think that means, like, maxing out on Berserks, maxing out on Captains, so that you can do the thing the greatest number of times possible. Um, I think that's fine. Like, I think, I think this, 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 just, like, don't fit into the primary plan of the deck list. So, like, this gives you some starting wiggle room. And I think you can go from there. Um, side sideboard felt okay. I don't really have too much to say there. I think you have to shore up the uh, the game one plan a little bit. Also, it's like Simic Charm is not really a playable legacy card. I think we can uh, go ahead and nix that too. Um, 
once you cut these, your like blue count for Forza Will also probably starts getting pretty low. And so if you don't re-replace with blue cards, maybe you have to like consider dumping Force of Will as well. Yeah, I don't. I don't know on this one. There, there's room to explore, um, but I hope you enjoyed watching me do the thing. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Those sorts of things help me out a lot. And if you have something you want to see on the channel, please consider donating in the future. That information, as well as this deck list, is always available in the video description. Have a great rest of the day.